Hi everyone. I'm here. Here I am. There we go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready for a class. How are you guys doing? Um, how's your Sunday? I hope you've had a great week and an even better Saturday. And I hope your Sunday today just makes everything even better. Um, where are you watching from? Where are you from? Um, tell me about your life. Tell me about everything. I'd like to know you. I'd like to know the person behind the eyes. <laughs> um, hey Unabi, how you doing? Hey Hui, always good to see you bud. Um, let me put the chat up on the screen. At properties. Now I can highlight your messages. So, uh, it's been a good, it's been a pretty good week for me. But I want to know how it is for you. Um, also, if you're in London, there's, um, there's like a half marathon happening in London today. So if you're around the Hyde Park area, you might notice that it's very busy. It's very busy around Hyde Park today. So, um, I went to watch my sister. She's running in the race. Um, I think just for fun, not. I don't think she's serious about running fast, but it takes like an hour from my house to go there. So I ran all the way there. I didn't run all the way there. I ran like to the bus, ran to the tube, ran to the place where I was supposed to say like, hey, go, go, go. I'm cheering on my sister, right? And then they have trackers so you can track where they are. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to know exactly where she is. When she comes near me, I can wave, shout, go crazy. And then the tracker's like, oh yeah, she's really far away. I looked, I looked down, messaged, looked back, and she was already past me and I missed it. So annoyed. So annoyed. Ah. But yeah, so. That was, that was like an early start to the day for nothing. Ugh. Anyway, how are you? Hello in Japan, how are you? I was thinking, I really want to do a marathon, but not in, not in England. I want to, when I run, I hate running. It's the most boring activity ever. But if I were to do a marathon, I would like to do it in Japan. Maybe next year. I know it's, it's expensive to do. I, I think it's, maybe it's like 200 pounds just to run it might be more than that i'm not sure hmm. beba for the first time i'm watching you from london were you not here before where were you before and what brings you to london beba welcome to the city welcome what have you done have you visited a tesco yet that is the most important question have you visited a tesco Hey, Farida, how you doing? Shyam watching from Asia. Hey, how you doing? From Egypt, I'm a teacher. Me too. It's always a pleasure to meet a fellow teacher. Hey, Dimitri, how you doing? Stacy, you have a job interview next Monday. I feel nervous already. Stacy, you're going to be fine. From, I've never met you, but from the vibes you give in these live streams, you seem like a nice person. And I think that's more important for a job interview. Like, sure, if you can do the job, lots of people can do the job. But people want to know that they're going to work with someone nice. And you seem nice. So just be yourself. Or don't. I'm not your boss. Uh, I didn't participate because, um, like I said, running is the most boring thing ever. I just can't do it. I know I have to do it because I want to live. But I hate it. I hate it so much. So anyway, my sister did it and um, yeah, she she seems to be smashing it. I'm following the tracker. She's doing it. So if any one of you, if any one of your friends is doing it, good luck to them. Hope they're doing great. If you're watching this later and you did it, I hope you did well. I want to hear about it. 
So today I've planned to do some business idioms and some games with you. Also, if you're interested in games and improving your speaking skills, you can join my class, my English speaking class. It's on patreon.com slash papateachme. You can join my speaking class there. This month, I have a special Halloween party prepared. So it's a new thing that I'm trying. I'm really excited about it. So if you um if you want to improve your English, have a good time, join an English party, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash papa teach me. Link in the description. Hey Keiko, how you doing? It's raining tonight and a bit chilly in Kobe. Oh Kobe, I've been there. You have amazing beef. I'm having miso soup right now. Hey Ashley in Taiwan, how you doing? How is Taiwan today? Um, it's always an amazing experience being in your classes. Oh, thanks, Shiam. How you doing? I, I hope you I hope you're doing great in Egypt. No, Asia. No, Egypt. No. I can't remember. I am from Venezuela, but I live in Milton Keynes. M you live in Milton Keynes? Hector. Sometimes I go there. Um, I have family li that lives there, so maybe I'm gonna see you one day. I don't know. Um, but Milton Keynes. I don't know why people go there. It's the most random place in England. It's weird as well. Like the road system, they're all called boulevards. And in England, we don't have those. That's a very American thing. The design, the architecture, everything in Milton Keynes is so strange. But when we were kids, it was the most exciting place ever. Ever. I also don't like running, but yeah, running is so boring. What I do now at the gym, I take my uh, phone and I just, I watch a show. Um, if I'm feeling, you know, lacking energy, I'll put on one of the Avengers movies. <laughs> that helps, that helps with my energy. Hey, Iris, how you doing? Um, how's your day going? What, have you eaten anything? Have you eaten anything nice today, Iris? Um, okay, so the idiom I want to do with you today is two. And I also want to know, what is this in your language? Think outside the box. This means don't think the obvious ideas. If you need to think of an idea or an answer, a solution... Don't use the common ideas. Don't think of the obvious. Try to think of something completely different. Be creative. Think of something new. Do something that other people are not doing. Think outside the box. In other words, the box represents everyone. The common way of thinking. If you're outside the box, you don't think in a common, usual way. Be creative. Exactly, Ebdesam. Exactly. Drinking bubble tea. Iris, question. When you have bubble tea, what is your ice and sugar level? I used to ask for lots of sugar because I was an idiot and it really hurt my teeth. So now I'm a, I'm a no sugar type of guy. Bon dia in Brazil. I hope you're doing good. I feel knackered because of the hospital. Pro oh, you're still doing that. Man, that's like months now, right? Chala, I hope you and all your family are doing great. You say think in different angles. Is that right? In Ukrainian, you say go beyond. You say be creative in, in Taiwan. Okay. In Hindi, we say use your brain. Just use your brain. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um... So how are we going to do this? I have a... There are puzzles called lateral thinking puzzles. Right, I'm going to write that down. If you want to find more of these um, in English to challenge yourself, they're called lateral thinking puzzles. So this is usually 
when you, you don't think of the obvious answer, there's no obvious answer. You have to think in a different way. So I have one and I don't know the answer. So we're going to work this out together. Um, where is it? Okay, so this is the puzzle. This is the situation. A man receives a package in the mail. Without opening it, he knows he is ruined. Okay, so the question is, how did he know he was ruined without opening the package? Let me... Okay. Let me write this and pin it so you know exactly what the thing is. Okay, this... This is it. Let me pin this. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps. This, yeah, th right here. Right here. A man receives a package in the mail. Without opening it, he knows he's ruined. The question is, how did he know he was ruined without opening the package? Okay, also, let me fix this chat thing. Really annoying. Because I, I, I honestly, I don't get it, you know. He did something bad. Because of sounds. Could be. Could be. Hey, Vassal, how you doing? Um, you usually ask for a lot of ice and sugar. Ice? Yes. Although it takes away from the milk, from the drink, but... Doesn't the sugar hurt your teeth? Really hurts my teeth. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so... Man receives a package in the mail. Without opening it, he knows he's ruined. He knows he is ruined. How does he know he's ruined without opening it? What kind of packages do you receive in the mail that you instantly know what it means or what it is i guess this is this is a weird one i i again i don't know the answer a lot of you are saying because it smells it's smelly uh maybe it's from someone who hates it maybe hey rakan how you doing um the senders label see again these seem too obvious right we need to th Think outside the box. Uh, usually, the answer is it's nothing to do with, it's not related to the actual thing. It's something else. That's, I, I don't know. Someone told him about it? Could be. Sender name might be fishy. It could be too. I don't know. What the hell, though? What? Okay, we have to think about this laterally. So, when you receive a thick... Why am I getting the following notifications? Those aren't subscribers. Follow this is not subscribers. I don't know what this is. I don't know who those followers are. Or what they're following me on. I don't, I don't know. Um, the topic of today is lateral thinking. Thinking outside the box. Dude, I, I don't even know. It's a bit lighter than usual. It's from the government. The box is empty. Oh, I feel like... Oh. Oh, I feel like this could be right. What if, what if, okay, stay with me on this. Maybe he sent for something 
but because it came back empty that mean ah uh, what could that mean okay let's spend one more minute on this and then i need to find the answer because this is driving me crazy um was the package in a box or not? Let's let's have a look again. It just says he receives a package in the mail. He receives a package in the mail. It doesn't say if it's a box or an envelope. It doesn't say anything. <gasps> he sent the package himself. Oh, that could work as well. Ah, maybe, maybe. Okay, so yeah, Katarina and whoever wrote the other one, maybe he sent something with something in it. They sent something back with it empty. But what would that be? What What is that? He sent this package a week ago and now he received and realized he is an addressee. He messed the address upon sending. Ah. Oh, it's going to be something really obvious, isn't it? It's, it's something like that. Which one is ruined, the package or the man? Yep, yeah, it's the man. He. So he receives the package and he's like, oh no, I am ruined. So yeah, um... I feel like we're getting there. I don't want to look at the answer because I feel like you're getting there. And as a team, we're a team. We're doing this. He sent this package a week ago and now he received, realized he's an addressee. He missed the address on sending. So maybe what? Maybe he sent something important, but he sent it to himself. No, that doesn't make sense because the package is empty. But people knew this is the, this is the riddle. Maybe. I think it's something like he sent something to someone because they took it out and sent it back empty. That means something, but maybe that's too difficult. Maybe we're overthinking this. Wrong address and the post sent it back. Yeah, but why is it empty? Why Wait, we don't know why it's empty, do we? Oh! Yeah, maybe it's like... But we don't know it's empty. I've just made that up. Sorry, I'm ruining everything here. Wrong address in the post center bag. It could be. Alright, so I asked this on ChatGPT. I'm gonna have to know the answer. All right, ChatGPT, what is the answer? Oh my god, this is so stupid. I wish I hadn't looked. This is so dumb. Okay, you want the answer? The man is a lighthouse keeper. The package he received is a delivery of bulbs for the lighthouse. However, due to a severe storm, the delivery was significantly delayed. Without opening the package, he knows he's ruined because the lighthouse bulb has burnt out. And ships depending on his lighthouse are in peril due to the dark and stormy conditions. That is really dumb. This is why we don't trust ChatGPT for anything. This is why you don't. When people ask, is AI going to take over the world? Is ChatGPT going to come after everyone's jobs? No, it can't even. Big rubbish. You guys had a better idea. You guys had better um, answers, I think. So stupid. See, look, the box is transparent. I think that's a great answer. And maybe we, we are overthinking. We absolutely are. 
100%. Zip milk. 100% overthinking. That was a stupid one. I agree with your emojis. I agree with your emojis. I agree with your emojis. AI is still so stupid. I know, right? When, when people talk about... Um, about that... Do you, right. I think I've said this before. When special effects in movies started to become a thing everyone was like oh my god it's so crazy you can do anything now and you don't know if it's like um special effects or if it's real life you just don't know it looks so real but now you look at movies even five ten years ago or even low budget movies it's very obvious and i feel like ai with chat gpt is the same. Like, already, you know when it's from ChatGPT, you know? My name is Zeba. Hey, Zeba, how you doing? That was impossible to get. I know. It really was. It was so stupid. See, look, this one. Much better. The package date is from many years ago. Yes. Uh, see... You guys had much, a much better answer than the actual answer. I'm taking your answers, not ChatGPT. Bullshit. Ugh. All right. So we'll move on from that, I think. Um, you know what? Actually, I could Google one. I, I trust Google over ChatGPT anytime. Um, all right, so I'll give you one more, but you're not allowed to look at the answers. You're not allowed to Google this, okay? Promise? Um, also, we need to do one more idiom. So we have one to think outside the box. You do that with lateral thinking puzzles, for example. But let's say... Let's say... You are building a house. You need to buy the material to build the house, but you want to make this house very cheap and quick. To make the house very cheap, you have to... Cut corners. To cut corners means to make something quick, make a process quicker or cheaper, usually at the cost of safety or quality. So this is very common when developers or someone build houses and they make them cheap. Mm. Um, the last place I lived in, yeah, they cut corners when they made the house. Because it was done very quick and very cheap. Not very safe. Not very good quality. So, I want you to think of other examples where you use cut corners. Where else would you see that? It looks like the creation of Skynet is delayed again. I know, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, Keiko. What's that first one? Is the first one... T is it... Does it mean hand? Or... Neku? Keo Neku. I don't know what that one means. I used to play this game with my friends at university. You can only find the answer by asking a lot of questions to the person who knows the right answer. Do any of you have any good lateral thinking puzzles? If so, write them in the comments. Oh, okay. Is that ne ne ku or me? It's not me. It's ne, right? Teo neku. What is teo neku? What does that mean? Hey Natasha, how you doing? To economize, yeah, basically, make something cheaper and quicker. 
and the quality is rubbish. The safety, rubbish. This is a big problem, actually. In London, lots of new buildings, really shit. Like, I would not buy a new building in London. First of all, I can't. <laughs> they're very expensive. Second, they're kind of a bit dodgy. I don't trust them. Hmm. I cut corners when I passed any exams. No, I think you mean to say I cut corners when I studied. That means you made it. Well, you studied the easy way and maybe your results were not great. Hmm. To buy low price products. Yes, low price products. The makers always cut corners. 100% really, really good. Um... Okay, so let's look at some lateral thinking puzzles and find a good one. We can work it out together. Um, okay, a man pushes his car until he reaches a hotel. When he arrives, he realizes he's bankrupt. What happened? A man pushes his car until he reaches a hotel. When he arrives, he realizes he's bankrupt. What happened? Is this going to be like the other one? Like he he arrives at the hotel and the hotel is demolished and it's his hotel. I don't know. We can work this one out together though. I feel I feel really good. I feel really good about that. Um let me write it. There we go. This is the lateral thinking puzzle. A man pushes his car until he reaches a hotel. When he arrives, he realizes he's bankrupt. What happened? If this turns out to be like, it's his hotel and the building's demolished, I'll be very upset. I don't think it is. Um... So I didn't ask ChatGPT for this one. Speaking of England, I'd love to go to the countryside. We have some nice ones. They're very boring, but if you like countryside, we have good ones. Maybe he was playing... <gasps> oh! Maybe he was playing Monopoly! That makes sense! Pushing a car... That's where they get you. Pushing a car, because in my mind, I'm thinking... You're pushing a car. Maybe he was playing Monopoly. Monopoly! Can you say broke or skint? You can say both. Skint is more British English, though. I can't. I can't come out. I'm skint. Someone cuts corners when they prepare their car for sale. Common problem, they mask other problems. Yes, very good example, Vassal. Yeah, 100%. What does bankrupt mean? It means you have no more money. Your money is finished. So this was the thing. A man pushes his car until he reaches a hotel. When he arrives, he realizes he's bankrupt. What happened? So let's... Where's the answer? He's playing Monopoly and his piece is the car. He lands on a space with a hotel and he doesn't have the money to pay. Nice. Okay. I, I, I'm liking these. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. These are fun. A woman enters a room and presses a button. Within seconds, she instantly loses 20 pounds. How did she lose the weight? Okay. My first reaction was pounds. Oh, you mean money. Like that's the, that's the twist. Because usually it's a play on words. But they specifically say, how did she lose the weight? Go in a room, you press a button, you lose 20 pounds. In weight. How often do you press a button when you go in a room? Unless it's a light?
Bear, but you really are a master. Definitely. She's using an editing application. Yeah, but she instantly loses 20 pounds in weight. It specifically says weight. I would agree. If it didn't say weight, I would think, okay, it's money, 20 British pounds, but it's not. How much is 20 pounds in kilos? One, no, one kilo is 2.2 pounds. She's in a sauna. Yeah, but it is instantly. Remember, it's instantly. She enters a room, presses a button. Within seconds, she instantly loses 20 pounds. How did she lose the weight? I like this, Ashley Chen. An anti-gravity room. I like that. That's just fun. She entered a lift and pressed the button to go down. I guess so. Maybe it has something to do with gravity. Should we have a look? Should we have a look? The room is actually an elevator. When she gets inside to go down, the elevator accelerates downward, making her weight temporarily lower. Nice. Now, who who is it that said that one? That you did good, Beba. You didn't get that one, or did you? Did you get it and I missed it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Teo Nuku Nu. Okay, Teo Nuku means doing a lousy job. Oh, okay. Now I understand. Thank you. Okay. Um. Next one. Oh, I swear I've heard this one before. A man who lives in a 30-story building decides to jump out of his window. He survives the fall with no injuries. How did that happen? Okay, the, this is always the problem. We get the image in our mind. And we can't... We don't want to change any details of that image. That's always my problem. So, a man who lives in a 30-story building. I think I've got this. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. A man who lives in a 30-story building decides to jump out of his window. He survives the fall with no injuries. How did that happen? Dude, I have this. I have this. He's Batman. It could be. But I, I think, personally, it's this one. He lives on the basement or first floor. He lives on the first floor. Parachute? <laughs> he lives on the first floor. It has to be, right? Because it says, look, a man who lives in a 30-story building. The building has 30 stories. It doesn't say which one he lives in. So let's have a look. Let's check the answer. Answer. He may live in a 30-story building, but he only jumped out of the window on the first floor. Oh. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. He lives on the first floor. He lives on the first floor. Nice. A 30-story building. Um, In British English, we say 30 floor. No, we don't. We would say story. A story is a floor. Um, I live on the first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. Story means the number of floors. That's what that means. More American English, but, you know. Alrighty. Um, that one's too long. Um. Okay, okay, this this could be interesting. Alright, this will be the last one. Every two weeks, a woman sits down and writes two words on 60 sheets of paper. Why does she do this? Every two weeks, a woman sits down and writes two words on 60 sheets of paper. Why does she do this? Every two weeks. 
What do we do every two weeks? What happens every two weeks? He's crazy. That's always the logical option. Occam's razor and everything. Every two weeks, she writes two words on 60 sheets of paper. Why does she do this? My first thought? Like, that's part of her job, maybe? 60 sheets of paper. Ooh, you think you know this one. The woman owns her own business with 60 employees. Maybe. Hmm. Dumzoi. Dumzoi. Could be. Her employees. Right, this is what I'm thinking. 60 sheets of paper. Every two weeks, though? If it's employees, that's not every two weeks. Or is it? Do people get paid every two weeks? Sign some papers. First name and surname. Yeah, I I'm thinking it's something like that. Two words on 60 sheets. Of Why 60? I don't understand. She's a professor and writes notes on her students' copies. That's a good one. That is a good one. Maybe there are 60 students in her class. No? I like that. I like that. She writes the two words on the sheet. The sheets are 60, but she writes on the first one. Impossible. Oh. I hadn't thought about that. Every two weeks, a woman sits down and writes two words on 60 sheets of paper. Are we overthinking again? So, is she writing two words on the entire 60? Like it's a signature on a contract? Or is it two words on every page of the 60? That's what I'm not... That's what I'm confused about. She signs her name on a check. Yeah, it could be. So I'm not... I don't know. If she's not an accountant, it could be. All right, let's look at the answer. All right, we're done. The... You know what the answer is? The woman owns her own business with 60 employees. Every week she signs her name on their paychecks. Hang on a second. Hooey. That is word for word the answer. Did you Google this? I feel like you Googled this, Hooey. Look at, look at this. This is the answer from Google. And this is what Hooey writ wrote. Writ? Hooey. I gave you one rule. I said, don't Google it. Bad. You're so bad. Hooey. You've lost my trust now, my guy. Wow. Terrible. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there. So next week, I'm going to be back with another English and chill, but I think we're going to mix things up. We're going to do something different and a bit more fun next week. Um, I think I want to try a little party. Where I'll speak to you. If you want to come to an exclusive party. Message me on Instagram. At Papa Teach Me. I want to try something interesting. So next English and chill. Yeah, this could be fun. This could be fun. I will talk to you on video chat in a special English and chill. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I, I, have, I have an idea. And remember, if you want to join an English speaking class, you can join mine on patreon.com slash papa teach me. We have four sessions a month. Practice with me. I give you correction, feedback, tons of vocabulary, tons of grammar. Hmm. Hooey, I, I don't know if I believe you, bud. I don't know if I believe you. Gave you one rule, Hui. I think this is where I should say, 
Loud way. Loud way. That's you. You're being bad. I gave you one rule and you didn't do it. You're so bad. She's a teacher. It could have been a teacher as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a party. Yes, Mata. So if you want to join my party, I think it's maximum 10 people because it's free. Um, do we have to drink alcohol at 2 p.m.? Yes, it's a rule. You have to. Um, hey, Keiko. Arigato Ali or she got to gambate. Janne. Keiko, you're invited too. Mata, you're invited too. Emil, you're invited too. Actually, channel members, you will have priority. Um, again, message me on Instagram, at Papa Teach Me. I'll give you the link to join. 10 people maximum. It's free. And next English and chill, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a we're going to have a party. So j streaming on YouTube. Yes, Ashley. If you want to join, if you want to come and talk to me live on this, message me on Instagram. I'll give you the link to join. Is it a requirement to be super fluent in English? No. No. If you're watching this, you're at the perfect level. Yeah. It'll be it'll be a fun one. Um, so yeah, let me know. See you next Sunday for a very fun English and chill where we have a party.